Scoutmaster's Paradise, and I'm so late filming this Sunday scoop. It's actually Monday, but I had a crazy, amazing weekend. So first I want to tell you guys what I did. It was super crazy. I decided to take Friday off. I had started feeling better. I told you guys last week I've had, I've been having really bad allergy problems, and on Thursday I started feeling amazing. The medicine finally started working. I wasn't congested. I still might sound a little bit funny because I've been I've been coughing so much. My voice kind of got hoarse, so I might sound a little silly. But on Thursday, I got this idea late Thursday night that I was going to go to IKEA. Our nearest IKEA is about two and a half hours away in Chicago. So Thursday night, I planned out what I wanted to buy at IKEA, and I thought, well, if I feel okay, maybe I'll go tomorrow. And this was super late on Thursday. It was just such a last minute thing. And I woke up Friday feeling good, so I went. I went all the way to Chicago. It was so much fun, and I just, all I did was I went to IKEA. So I had my list of things to buy to finish up my scrapbook room, and I ended up getting almost everything I wanted. I drive a two-door Civic, so I was trying to put this big furniture in my car, and I barely could fit the two big shelves that I got. But they did fit, so my car was loaded down, and if you are on the Facebook page, you saw the picture. My car was just completely full. Even the passenger seat and the floorboard there was full of stuff. I just got tons of stuff. And I really wanted to talk about one of the things I got because the color online just doesn't show up. So I, I picked up a lot of these cassette, cassette boxes, I don't know how to say it, but I picked up tons of these. I've got, I got, all, I think, close to 30 of these um, in different sizes. So this is the dark pink color, and online it shows up really, really bizarrely. It shows up like a like a dusty red color. It doesn't look pink at all, but these to me look very raspberry-y colored. They're a little bit dusty, but I just like the color. I'd call it I'd call it like a medium raspberry color. And so I got tons of these boxes in the dark pink. IKEA also had um, like black, white, blue, and green. And this was the color I liked the best. I'd already had some of the white and green ones. Actually, it's a different color green than they have now. I wanted to stock my office full of boxes and also the new shelves that I picked up. So I got a bunch of these. I actually need more. All weekend long I was assembling these boxes because they come flat. You have to actually assemble them. The only piece that's assembled is the lid. I'm going to show you guys. Like you can see these screws right here. You fold up the box and then screw these little things in, and by the end of Saturday, my fingers were sore after screwing all these in. You also have to put these labels in. You poke it through the designated little holes, but you still have to push a lot, and then you have to fold over the back little things. So because I went on Friday and had this wild hair to do this, I was a little bit behind on some stuff. But today's gonna be my catch-up day, which is why I'm filming this today. I didn't get to it over the weekend. I'm gonna update you guys on Wednesday as part of the mini-series Organize Your Scrap Space. I'll show you guys all of the details on all the stuff that I got. My room's just really coming together. I started feeling really inspired when I've been kind of in transition, trying to get stuff organized the way I want it. It's been rough on my crafty mojo. I haven't felt inspired. I just wanted to get the room done, so I'm really excited that I went and got everything I needed, and now my room's finally coming together. So this week is a big week. I actually have a blog post every single day this week, which is really cool. I've got lots of Christmas card projects for you guys. So we're giving away a $15 gift certificate this week, so you can pick up anything you want if you're the winner. You just shop with that $15 gift certificate. Make sure you guys head to the blog if you haven't already and enter our giveaway, and the design team has some Christmas card week inspiration for you guys. Their projects are really awesome. I want you guys to check those out, and you can enter our giveaway through the raffle copter. You just have to leave a comment on the blog and then enter through Rafflecopter and it opens up a lot of other options where you can earn additional entries. You can also enter some of the ways daily, like if you share your Christmas cards with us through the link up, you get entries um, for that and you can you can link up a project each day. I've got one announcement. Um, my furry creatures mini class that was supposed to start today is actually going to be delayed for two weeks. A couple of weeks back, 
I had dropped my overhead light and camera mount. It had just, it's on a stand that goes like this. And the whole stand just fell over. And luckily my, my camera didn't break and my light didn't break, but my camera mount popped apart. And I had stuck it back together and I was filming okay with it. It just wasn't completely right. It, it was a little bit loose. It started not holding my camera after using it a couple of days. So I do not have an overhead camera. I only have the camera like this. And I just can't, I can't do good filming with this camera. I'm trying to make it overhead. I'm waiting for my new camera mount to come in. It should be here this week. And I'll get the class up as soon as I can. Um, but tentatively November 11th. So there's still time to sign up if you guys want to go ahead and sign up for that. And it's going to be one of those self-paced classes, so you can sign up anytime. But I just wanted to let you guys know if you're signed up for the class, we're not starting it yet. Um, it'll be just a little bit longer. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I'll have a lot of projects on the blog this week, so keep checking back. Thanks for watching. Bye.